So I'm in Patong Beach and I'm looking for a hotel and I really need it to be near to Bangla Road but not too near so that it's crazy with the noise at night time. But the most important thing is my budget is 2,000 baht per night. And this hotel may be going to fit the bill because I've paid 1,999 baht for one night at the Marina Phuket Hotel. Let's see what it's like. So 1,999 baht per night and actually depending on exactly when you go, what day, what month, you might even find it cheaper than that. Anyway, nice quick check-in then up to the room in the lift. It's a key card to get in and you also put the key card to operate the electricity. Switches there at the door and then walking into the room. Well, it's quite a modern hotel, although you probably can see a little bit of wear and tear around the place. Could do with a bit of an update. But I'm looking straight out to the balcony and there is a big market opposite to get the location and you can hear the noise from outside so the double glazing definitely does its job because inside the room is nice and quiet. The air conditioning is in the ceiling, that was quiet, that was cold, that was efficient. Operated from the switch on the wall, I prefer it like that, it's easier for my simple mind to follow. Next to the bed you've got switches and plugs. You've also got a torch for use in emergency situations probably think that you should never need that but it's still nice to have and the standard safe but this time it's in a nice white color and then room for about four or five wooden hangers in there on the wall you can see a nice flat screen TV you can see the tea and coffee making and a couple of bottles of water there as well the bed was nice and comfortable just again looks like good quality linen but maybe not top quality linen that's just to my eye see what you think you've got this rather nice nautical theme running through the room it's a bit like being in an aquarium a sofa to sit on which I do find useful as well just gives you the opportunity to spread out a little bit bed lamp next to the bed two pillows and two smaller pillows and you can just about see the bathroom through the window coming into view. What's in the fridge? Well, a bit disappointing because it's got a glass front door. So you can see there's nothing in there until I stick in the two bottles of water. There is an extensive room service menu. I didn't use it, but it's there if you need it. And as I say, a little bit tired. Some of the fittings really could do with a little bit of a refurb to bring it bang up to date. A few knocks and scratches, but if that doesn't worry you, it works perfectly well. Into the bathroom, that's a nice style. I like the squareness of some of the fittings and the black and marble colours. does give it a classy look. We've got the bum gun there. We've also got a shower, but the shower is over the bath and I don't really like a shower over the bath at my old age. And another reason why I don't like it so much is that even if you close the glass door, there was water going onto the floor, so I did manage to flood the bathroom every time I had a shower. You have got a view into the bedroom, as seems to be the case in many hotels now, and a modesty curtain. A couple of bottles there of shower gel and shampoo branded up. It's a very pleasant look, the tiling is very nice. It is quite modern, but I don't like that shower arrangement with a glass door over a bath and having to step in and out. That's my preference. I don't know what anyone else thinks about that. I prefer a walk-in shower. Taking the lift to go to the ground floor, no smoking in the lift. Actually, the lift is quite interesting. You could go all day and just read about all the things that are happening in the hotel. That's not a bad sign. They're trying to promote different activities. This hotel is quite famous for its breakfast. A lot of people on TripAdvisor say that the breakfast is one of the highlights. And it's only 200 bar extra for the breakfast for a booking for two people. You can see the tea and coffee there, also Indian tea available. It's only filter coffee. Maybe if you're like me and you need a better coffee in the morning, well, I'll show you somewhere for that in just a moment. There's fruit juices there, there's some cold milk there, there's some salad. There's also some fruit and once again we see the pineapple and the watermelon. Oh, there is one other type of fruit. Looks like some kind of soup, I think. 
in the bowl there and baked beans we haven't seen that on some of the breakfasts that we've been to so if you like your baked beans they have them here there we've got some other meat it's actually chicken sausage rather than pork sausage There's even a noodle stand that you can have with your breakfast and you can see someone preparing the noodles right there. I didn't try that but it all looks good. Maybe I'll have to come back for lunch one day but not for my breakfast today, thank you very much. And there's some French toast there, I think that's what it is. I do like a restaurant that has different types of bread that you can actually carve by yourself and the pastries were high quality as well. You'll not be surprised that I tried one or two of those. Standard bread and toaster are available, croissants, jams and marmalades. Here is actually some Indian curry. There were quite a few people from the Indian subcontinent in this hotel. And believe it or not, I did try a bit of chicken madras and rice at breakfast time, despite what I've said about liking my traditional breakfast. There's some yogurt in the bowl there and there's also some cereal and here is the egg station behind the glass there staff were very friendly good fun and prepared some excellent food you can have eggs any which way you like it and they'll make sure it's cooked exactly to perfection it's good A lot of people on the TripAdvisor have said how friendly the staff are and both those at reception and those in the kitchen. I agree they certainly are very helpful and many times they have a nice smile for you. Not a complaint about the hotel but some woman stole my toast after I cooked it and then when I challenged her about stealing my toast she picked it up in her hand and offered it to me back but I thought no, let her keep it, I'll cook myself some more. <laughs> Outside of breakfast there are a couple of computers that you can use. I need some real coffee, not that filtered coffee. And inside the hotel is the submarine cafe. And inside there you can get latte, cappuccino, americano, all the normal hot coffee that you would expect. And indeed the hot cappuccino, only 69 baht. It's not a ridiculous amount of money, is it? Nautical theme right through to the portholes in the submarine cafe and outside I like to check on accessibility there's quite a narrow ramp there but a slightly wider one I think and a bit more gradual outside so those with accessibility worries certainly there's ramps about the place I mentioned the Siladon Spa because it's a place that I know from Pattaya and Bangkok I think they also have a branch in northern Thailand and they have a branch here and I did take a massage there and the quality is very high, it's proper genuine massage. Downstairs, two parking spaces allocated again for those with accessibility issues and a lift from the upstairs. Plenty of car parking, plenty of bike parking available as well. On the ninth floor you can see Body Fit. They obviously had me in mind when they named their gymnasium or exercise room. <laughs> Wasn't anyone in there when I went but you can see it's cool, air conditioned. There's quite a lot of machinery in a relatively small space. And some space hoppers around the outside. Also on the rooftop you have the swimming pool and there's a bit of a restaurant and bar. They have special events, parties and things on the rooftop at the bar. And you can see we've got a little bit of sunshine although the weather was changeable. Plenty of places to lounge around literally very few people and a very nice swimming pool it did have a good view and there's a bar there that you can get beer drinks soft drinks 1.2 meters helpfully put for the depth of the swimming pool some of the loungers actually in the swimming pool itself that always cools you down and looks good a little bit of safety equipment there some nice bright orange towels to match with the bean bags or seats that you can sit on so again it's quite trendy it's quite fashionable albeit it looks like it's a few years old now the pool being on the rooftop with the view it's quite dramatic and you can see that the rain is coming over as i'm filming this 
That's probably on Bangla Road. It's raining at the moment, which is actually about 10, 15 minutes away from here. I chose this hotel because it's close enough to get to Bangla Road and Patong Beach, but far enough away to be a little bit quieter. So it's time to check out. What else can I tell you about this hotel? Well, they do say that they are welcome to take joiners into this hotel, but they have this strange policy, I think, which is if you book as one person for the room and somebody comes to join you, there's no charge whatsoever. But if you book the room for two people and there's only one of you and someone joins you, then you have to pay 500 baht. So top tip there, if that's what you want to do, make sure you book in as a single person and then no charge. Last night I went into Bangla Road and I used a taxi I booked with Bolt. It was for 150 baht. Sometimes you can be lucky and get one for 100 baht. Otherwise when it's busy you're still going to get charged 200 baht for that short distance. So here is another interesting option if you want to be fairly close to the action but not right in the center of it. Why not consider this hotel? When I booked it was 1999 baht when they include breakfast. Let me know in the comments what you uh, think about this hotel. Otherwise, I'm off to try another one. See you very soon. Bye bye.